Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought we would start a new little project. Now I think this is probably going to be an ongoing pro project because um, I'm going to be starting a sort of reference journal. So it's more a reference journal or an ideas journal, um, just so that we can fill a book or fill a journal with ideas that we can do on journal pages. Um, so when we sort of like get a mental block, um, when you're halfway through a journal, you're trying to think what you can put on the page. You can flick through this and have an idea right there ready for you, um, which I thought would be really, really good. Because although we make lots and lots of videos and you watch lots of videos, you tend to forget. And I think if we had something to refer back to, um, we, it'd be really, really nice. So I'm going to fill it with my ideas um, and I'll probably get some ideas from other people. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you here anyway i'm going to make this journal the next project in the next video i'll make this journal um because it's really simple um and a lovely one this is just made from some sample fabric you get them in those big books um, and i was given some a little while ago and i've never really used them so i thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do that really really simple um and this is what's coming i've got three signatures in it now i've purposely not made it very thick okay um, the spine is is an inch and a quarter um, but I've only got three signatures and each signature is only got 12 pages in it because I want to be able to when you do something I want you to be able to open it up and have it open instead of sort of like having everything squashed in um, so you can actually see what you're doing and see what you're making um, and again obviously it's going to fill up by um, popping ideas and things in it as well. So my idea of, of this is to make your embellishments, make whatever you want. This is the last one we made yesterday. Um, so this was the idea and I've, so I've stuck a ready-made one in there and also a blank one in there. And I've just written down where that it's a journal um, pocket tag. I've used the mini embellishment kit on it, um, tea stain paper, book pages, embossed paper which I popped on here, seam binding and cheesecloth. So we've got a little list of things that I've actually used on there. Um, so you can go back to that and make that one. This one here is just the one of my recycling reused um, videos and it's the scrap paper envelope and also the mini envelopes. So what I've done here, I've added one of the envelopes to here like that so you can refer back to that and think yep yeah, that's what i would like to pop in my journal um, have a look you can go back to the video and watch the video if you need to and on this one here i put one of the mini envelopes and one of the envelopes but i haven't stuck this one down i've just left it like that so you can have a look at it and then you can remind yourself how you make it um, so that's the sort of um, journal that I would like to make. And um, I think it would be lovely for all of us um, to um, do. And then I've only got those two in there at the moment. So the next one, I'm going to actually leave a page um, and just do it on this side of the pages. Because then I can also write things down or stick bits of paper that I'd like to um, put on the envelopes or go back to it and all sorts of things you can do so I'm just going to go on this page and this one was one of our other tags that we did or a little journaling card so I was thinking I'm going to stick that onto the page the reason I picked this one is because I've got the rolled paper here on this bit so I thought that's a good idea because it reminds you to actually do it a little bit different and have the little dingly dangly hanging down from there so I'm going to stick that on and I'm also going to take a piece of paper, obviously it doesn't have to be tea stain, you can have anything. And I'm going to just roll it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just get that off there, cut a piece off, and then I'm going to roll it. So it reminds me what I'm looking at, okay, because I can look at that and think, oh, what did I stick that in for? So if I stick it down like that onto the paper, and I can remind me that it's like the rolled um, little embellishment bit on there um, so we can just ink around the edges just so it doesn't blend in too much with the back paper just stick it on just like this let me just get a little bit more ink on here stick it 
stick this down just like that and then what I'm going to do is a little bit of glue and just glue that up here just on here just like that roll that up so it stays in place and then I'm going to stick this down onto the page now again we made lots of these little journaling tags or journaling spots um, just pick one which you like and which has got something a little bit different on there because we've made all of these ones here and generally we normally just put little bits and pieces on there as well don't we but I also like this on here with a little dingly dangly bit down as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick that on. I'm going to stick this down as well. Just like this. Just pop that on. So we can put that down there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to write on here. Rolled corner. just so we know it's the rolled corner that we're going for on here and then on this one which I liked this little bit here you can actually um, pop a little bit of fabric let me just see if I've got any I can just pop a little bit of fabric down here a little bit too thick I think Stick this together with a little bit of glue on here. Stick that together. And I'm going to actually pop that onto here. Or maybe I'll pop it down here as the ideas bit. Stick a little bit more glue on there. Stick that on here. I'm going to get a little um, bulb pin like that and one of my tags, whatever they are, in this little pot here and add this to here like that. So that gives us that idea of hanging it off here. So like that. So this is just some lovely little ideas um, from the other tags that we used on here like that. So you can use lace or fabric, um, so you can put lace, um, fabric, seam binding, okay so it just gives you a little idea of what you can actually use on there. So this is the sort of thing that I wanted to do and fill it up with. So. I hope you're going to come along with the journey with me. So I'm going to try and do sort of like Philip, do something every week in here um, and just pop a little reference in. You can do your bits of fabric. Um, and what I'm going to do as well is just put, you know, like um, my digital papers as well, which ones I like and which ones um, go really well together and just have little swatches on there as well. And then just write down what they are and what kit they're in. Um, so it's just a reference, a reference journal. So there we go guys, I hope you're going to um, come along with me and make it. So the next one I'm going to do is actually make this journal. Um, again, you can use whatever you like. If you've got an old journal that you want to use up, you can use that. But this is a really nice journal to make um, and it's a nice one not to just do your referencing in. You can use it as an actual journal. I've also left these dingly dangly bits down um, because I thought we could have some ideas of hanging things off or just using them in your journals somehow. Um, so we shall do something with those as well. So I'm going to fill it up hopefully over the next few months with different ideas um, and then you can pop this, this onto your desk um, when you have a little bit of a, a block and then we can um, just see what you would like to do. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you're all safe and well. And I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.